Nashville, Tennessee, jazz pianist, session musician and band leader Bobby Long B.G. Adair, who played on over 100 records throughout her six-decade career, has died. She was 84. Her manager, Monica Ramey, said Adair died Sunday in Franklin. A cause of death was not immediately released. Adair, raised in Cave City, Kentucky, began playing at age five, attended college in Kentucky and then moved to Nashville to work in the city's music scene in the 1960s. She worked as a musician on Johnny Cash's TV show and Ralph Emery's TV show, as well as on albums by Dolly Parton, Vince Gill, Chet Atkins and many more. She started her own commercial jingle company with her husband and started recording with her own bands. She released 35 albums with her trio of bassist Roger Spencer and drummer Chris Brown. Her trio would regularly perform at venues like Carnegie Hall and Birdland Jazz Club. She was vital in building Nashville's jazz music scene as a founding board member of the Nashville Jazz Workshop, where she used to teach and hold performances. Through the pandemic, Adair continued to connect with her fans digitally, hosting a regular happy hour video chat with her musician friends. Last October, she shared an at-home performance of Alone Together with Spencer, and expressed a strong desire to return to the stage. We're working on some things so we can get back out there and start giving em what for, she said, pumping her fist in the air. We just thank our lucky stars that we have people that love the music, she soon added, and like us well enough to let us know it. Adair is preceded in death by her parents, Bobby Martin and Arthur Gorin Long, and her husband of 38 years, William Billy Adair Jr. She is survived by friend, musical collaborator and business partner Monica Ramey, brother-in-law, Tommy, Kimberly, Adair, as well as her, Nashville Jazz Workshop, family and legions of musical collaborators, friends, and fans from around the world, for an obituary posted by Williamson Memorial Funeral Home. Contributing Dave Paulson, the Tennessean.